it's Chrissy from Knitting in the Heights. Today is Saturday, August the 5th, and yeah, I'm back. I decided to take a day off of vlogging yesterday. You wouldn't know this because I started by vlogging ahead of time uh, to make sure that if I needed a day off, I could take a day off, and I am so thankful I did that. Um, yesterday was our final performances in the Brooklyn camp and wrapping up the Brooklyn camp. And it was great. The kiddos did a great job performing. It was so fun to get to play for them and their family. I think the music was amazing. Um, so yeah, we had a great time doing that. Um, I'm actually going to put a clip of the music from some of that below this video so that you can hear how they did. Today is really about cleaning. <laughs> and trying to get my house back in order after two weeks of summer camp or, you know, a good solid week of doing very little cleaning. Um, Got to get, you know, laundry done. I think today I'm going to opt for the option of dropping it off at the laundromat instead of hanging out at the laundromat because I'm just, I'm tired. I'm really, really tired today. Um, yeah, and I think my allergies are bugging me. At least I hope it's allergies. So... There were several kiddos that ended up coughing and sneezing and um, have, saying they had sore throats and headaches and all that stuff. And I'll tell you, I really can't afford to get sick. So we're going to just go with the fact that these are allergies. We're going to go with that because as, as the kids call me, Dr. Chrissy, Dr. Chrissy really can't be sick for the next camp. And just, just, it's not going to happen. We're going to, we're going to make sure it doesn't happen. Right. But anyway, um, I am, I do have, uh, seasonal allergies, uh, this time of the year, most years, because I'm allergic to crepe myrtle trees when they're in bloom. And if you don't know what a crepe myrtle tree is, it's a really beautiful tree. Actually, it, um, the flowers tend to be pink, white, or purple, and they're just really pretty. They, there are some in the Northeast of the United States. Uh, they are very prominent in the South and that's how I found out I was very allergic to them because when I lived in North Carolina, my entire house was surrounded by them and I, every year I would just get really sick and finally we figured out that I'm just really allergic to them. And the reason we know this actually too is I'm allergic to the spice allspice, which is a berry on a bush from Jamaica and it's in like jerk seasoning and ketchup and pickles and and if it's in ketchup it's in barbecue sauce it, it's all often used you know along with those warm spices and I mean it's it's not a it's not like a subtle allergy you know where I just where just a little bit happens like I have to carry an EpiPen that's how allergic I am well crepe myrtles are a botanical cousin to the allspice uh, bush so therefore, um, yeah, it's a little bit more severe of a seasonal allergy for me. I mean, it doesn't do much up here because, I mean, there just aren't a lot of them here. There are some, but not enough to make a wild difference other than just getting a little bit congested. So we're, that's what we're going with, uh, that I have some allergies going on right now. Uh, so what have I been up to? Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> Those aren't words. What have I have been up to today? The kit, The kittens decided to wake me up as well as my son at like 6.45 this morning on a Saturday morning because they're used to being up that early. So, um, you know, we just had a really kind of relaxed morning. I've actually been watching The Serpent Queen on Stars, and it is good. I got through the rest of the season. It's really, really good. So if you have access to Stars or you can watch The Serpent Queen and you're into like historical drama, I would totally go for this. It's fascinating. Um, and I've been doing that and I've been knitting. I have been working on my so faded sweater. This is a pattern by Andrea Mowry. And here we are. It's coming along beautifully. I'm on the second color. I faded it in, um, split for the sleeves last week. And I put it down while I was working on my shawl. I'm going to be picking that up again when I have a little bit more brain space. Today, I just really wanted to go around and around and around and around and not do anything else. Um, I could do that with my socks too, but I'm, yeah, this felt like this was the right project for today. So yeah, it's coming along beautifully. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I think it's going to be really beautiful. The yarn is scrumptious. It is so pretty. So the first yarn ball that I used, um, the first color... This is by uh, Sweet Sparrow Yarns in the Mayfairy colorway. 
and it is really beautiful and soft speckles on a cream base and that faded into um, the textile witch in the colorway peas blossom and I'm, what I'm really enjoying is like when you get like half a stitch that is like a bright pop of color or just some other really fun colors that are coming in yeah so um, I'm about I think I, I weighed my yarn sorry about my finger there for a second um, I weighed my yarn a little while ago I'm I was at, I had already knit about 40 grams in, which is great actually. So I'm hoping to get, so I have like 20 more grams or so before I, I start to do the striping um, to fade in the next color. Um, so the next color I'm gonna be adding is this Chelsea Luxe yarn in the pink peony colorway. This is the only one that's not um, a 75-25. This is an 80-10-10. Um, it has some cashmere in it and it's a little bit fluffier, but it's so pretty. And honestly, if you take a look, like the speckles are almost exactly the same colors. So we're kind of going for that like lavender purple vibe, which I'm really digging right now. Cause I don't have a lot of col um, clothes in that, that color, but I think I look good and I really, I think it's really pretty. And then the final color is this beautiful skein of yarn from Ellie at Craft House Magic in the Believe colorway. Um, so yeah, so, so we're just going to keep going round and round and round on this, but I do probably need to do some cleaning. Um, yeah, so I might put in some footage of me cleaning <laughs> in just a minute. I probably should go take a shower first, but, um, yeah, so we're going to do a little cleaning and yeah, and maybe some knitting and, um, I might have someone over a little bit later. We will see if he and his son come over later. But otherwise, I'm just planning to have kind of a relaxed day. I am expecting a grocery delivery later because, um, yeah, I can walk to the grocery store, but I just felt like not walking to the grocery store. And a lot of the things, um, I often, about t at least twice a month, I get uh, gr groceries delivered when I know it's going to be a lot of heavy things so that I don't throw my back out. So this is one of those because I have a lot of heavy things coming in.